I think the whole story is basically about our mm. journey from the from from where we were in Singapore to South. So that's why journey to the South. Mm. So we'll, we'll talk about the, not just the physical journey and what we experienced, but also the sort of the emotional part of uh, of migrating to Australia as well. Yeah. yeah, and as well as how did Singapore noodle end up in Aldinga? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so um, especially that so f- not many, not many. But well, we're not going to give away that. All <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yes, that that's right. And how we actually decide to share the food that we grow up with yep. with the local community here. Yep. Yep. As part of our way of trying to reconnect with our culture and our, our history. Actually. And heritage. Yeah. My, my life in here is more better than in my country because I, I left in my country when I'm 25 year old, so most of my life is here now. I start going to the Centrelink and asking for a job. I've uh, done about a lot of factory works and everything. And uh, well, after the factory works and everything, and they a lot more, I uh, apply and everything. You know? And I, apl- I uh, learn um, to go to the power modeling, I graduate as a model. And after that, <laughs> jumping around, and I uh, went to the Elizabeth in, um, in TAFE and then learned about security guard. Because I brought so many uh, students from Korea here, and they uh, successfully go to the university in here as well, so they finish uni and they start career here and some students they get married together they have own family they have uh, children already <laughs> the children call me grandpa eh? even i didn't have any grandfather from my children but i have many many grandfathers now grandchildren they call me grandpa that's a very very uh, good a real a reward for me, uh, making me happy. I left home when I was 17. So I realized that I was moving every two years and then um, I ended up in England and that's when I said, no, I think I'm going to stay put for a while because that was before Facebook, <laughs> before Zoom. So all those things and um, I said, no, I'm going to stay put for a while and get to know a place and get people to remember me because they'll start forgetting me along the way if I keep moving, right? So I stayed in England for 15 years and uh, built a community. But what I learned then was that actually I can do this wherever I am. So when I moved to Adelaide with no friends or family and a very, very busy husband, I knew I could do it. I knew I could actually build a community. And the thing was two feet in. If, If you put two feet into anything, you actually will make things happen. And that really makes, makes, makes people come together. Our story talks a little bit about uh, our co- cross-cultural experience, our relationship, um, and the people that have made our lives richer. Yeah, it talks about um, how we as a family desire and want to be that family to others. Mm. Yep, and to extend that warmth and that love to others. Having a close network is something that we saw as a high value in in different parts of Asia, different places that I've lived. Just that that honouring of people who've walked the journey of life Mm. longer than you um, and respecting that is something that we've learned and and try to build on in our family. When people welcome you into their home, when they welcome you into their um, experience, um, suddenly having a connection and feeling like you're a part of something bigger 